All right, everybody, this is the 4FSU social media update. My name is Jake Taylor. Uh, we have quite a bit to talk about today. Currently sitting pretty warm outside, but things are going to be cooling down over the next few days. So you want to enjoy that weather because we have a, bo a big cool coming uh, in the next few days with our rain chances going up slightly. Not, uh, nothing too significant right now to expect, but scattered showers are possible. But right now, temperatures sitting in the Low 70s to upper 60s all around. See them updating there. 69 St. Mark, 67 in Carabelle, and the capital city sitting at 72 degrees. These will be going down, like I said, over the next few days. Tomorrow's lows are going to be quite uh, freezing, possibly in some locations. But for today's satellite radar, we saw scattered clouds throughout the day, mostly upper level clouds, not really any precipitation. Most of that's going on in southern Texas off the western coast of Mexico right now. But this is mostly just cloud cover. We saw all throughout the day. And you can see a good, uh, better picture down there by uh, all throughout the Gulf, really, we see some precipitation. But Tallahassee really was not affected by it. These uh, cloud cover extending all the way through. And you can see behind this front here, things not as clear as you would typically see, but things are clearing up a little bit. And temperatures are dropping very fast, 20 degrees in some locations over in the plains. But as this front moves through, it's not very fast. It's a pretty slow front, all things considered. But we're calling for mid to lower 60s for tomorrow around midday. 56 in Atlanta, but look at uh, Memphis, Tennessee, 35 degrees. So things are going to be very cold as this front progresses through. Big temperature changes as we move on through. Models are calling for around uh, 30, the low 30s right now. I believe it said 33, but we're going to be going a little higher than that. I'd say 35 to upper 30s is our low moving into Thursday night. That's still pretty cold, and obviously we looked over towards the Tennessee region, again, things were in the teens with the models. So it's going to be very cold as this moves through. Friday's forecast right now, 52 degrees. This isn't even night yet. 39 degrees in Atlanta and 33 in Memphis. Over in New Orleans seeing 50 degrees. So things cooling down pretty dramatically as this front moves through. But for tonight, anyway, it's going to be 56. Pretty seasonable, all things considered. Wind's still coming out of the north-northwest. It's going to be more prevalent as we move through, as the front moves through, excuse me, and we're going to see more northerlies, less moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures are going to start dropping pretty dramatically. 68 for tomorrow, a little bit cooler. We saw those mid-70s to 80s today, but tomorrow, for tomorrow it's going to be mid-60s to lower 70s. And like I said, it's going to be cooler, but we'll be getting colder as we move on through. Got to keep your eyes to the skies tomorrow. We're looking for those chances of uh, scattered showers, but nothing too heavy is expected. But for tomorrow, think of, uh, let's talk about what you're going to want to wear going through the day, uh, or for the next few days, excuse me. Bring a light jacket tomorrow. We might see some rain showers, like I said. Nothing too significant. Got to keep your eye on it, though. But for Friday, things will be cooling down. You're going to want to wear a coat. And then looking off towards Saturday, it's going to be cold. We might be seeing 20s in the capital city, and regions around us are going to be flirting with the 30s all around. And taking a look at the seven-day, like I said, they're on Saturday, 34. As the projected low right now, Saturday, Miami. FSU, so Friday is going to be cooling down. Chances of rain shooting back up into Sunday, 60% chance of rain in the afternoon, and then 30% in the morning on Monday. We'll have more on that as the week progresses, but moving into Tuesday and Wednesday, going to have that cold blast of air moving in, dropping temperatures into the 30s again and upper 50s.